Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in Outdoor and Door Texan. Today we're going to be smoking a head of cabbage. Smoked cabbage isn't the first thing that comes to mind when you think about low and slow barbecue. I know. But, with the right ingredients, it'll quickly turn into a popular side for parties, right next to your brisket, ribs, and chicken. So, grab a head of cabbage and let's get to cooking. Like always, make sure to check the description below for the full ingredients list before getting started. First step in prep is taking off one or two of the outer leaves. Although you washed it already, I'm sure, I always take off that outer barrier that's been handled by so many people on the way to your kitchen. After removing your outer leaves, we're going to take a knife and core out the crunchy white stem in center. This removes the majority of the cabbage that tends to be a bit more bitter, as well as too tough to soften in the cooking process. Also, this makes room for your ingredients. Now that the core is out, let's make a nice stand for the cabbage. Take any old pan that can handle some liquid and then grab some tin foil and fashion a ring by scrunching up a long sheet and then forming a circular base for the head of the cabbage. Take some olive oil and coat the exterior. Now cover the outside of your cabbage with your barbecue rub of choice. Today I'm using Musket Powder's brand new brown label. Uh, it has a sweet and mesquite profile that I think will really go well with the cabbage and upcoming other ingredients. If you're looking to check out any of Musket Powder's products, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm not paid by them, I'm just a big fan. Whatever rub you end up using, don't be afraid to pile it on. There's a lot of cabbage and we'll be reapplying rub a few times in this cooking process to help spread the flavor. After the rub, we're going to fill that cord out center with half a stick of butter cut into smaller pats. And after the butter, take about six cloves of minced garlic and fill the rest of the cavity. If there's room left over, just add more of both. Now we're going to get fancy with some bacon. Take a half package of bacon and weave the bacon to form a cover over the top half of the cabbage. Make sure to use toothpicks to keep everything in place. And with that, we're done with prep. It's time to head out to the smoker. I'm using my big green egg for this cook, but all you really need is a smoker or grill that can be set up for indirect smoking at a temperature of 275 for multiple hours. If you're planning on smoking this cabbage alongside some low and slow barbecue, you're welcome to adjust and lower the temperature, but just remember that it may take a bit longer for the cabbage than soften and cook. Once your temp is locked in at 275, place the cabbage on your smoker, add a little bit of water for steaming on the pan, and then leave it alone for the first hour. After an hour has passed, take a bowl of your favorite barbecue sauce and give the exterior a good basting. After the sauce, reapply your barbecue rub to as much of the exterior that will stick to it. Cabbage doesn't taste like much without a little help from the seasoning and sauce, so don't be shy with your application. After the sauce and rub, let it smoke for another hour before coming back to check. The cabbage has now been on the smoker for two hours total, and you can see the bacon has started to crisp up, so we're gonna give it a probe test. The cabbage isn't done until it's probe tender, which this one fails, so add more sauce and keep on smoking.
Okay, it's now been three hours total on the smoker, and you can see by the bacon it's taken on plenty of smoke. So, time for another probe test. This one slides in like butter, and we're ready to take it off and head to the kitchen. And there she is. Not the sexiest of dishes. But, if you like bacon, butter, garlic, barbecue sauce, sweet mesquite, smoke, and well, cabbage, you're gonna love it. The best way I've found to serve it is take a large mixing bowl or tin foil pan. Remove and set aside the bacon. And then shred your cabbage with a knife before tossing it like a salad. Once everything is mixed up nicely, add more barbecue rub and salt to taste, put the bacon bits back on top, and you'll be all set to serve. And just like that, you're done. I bet you didn't know you can make a head of cabbage look this tasty. Thankfully, cabbage is cheap, and surprisingly, it doesn't take much to church it up and make it something people are fighting over at parties. Another great thing about this recipe is that you can toss it on alongside any barbecue that cooks around that 250 degree mark for an instant side. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you end up trying this recipe out and how it turned out for you. I'm always happy to talk food, take questions, and help others on their journey for discovering new recipes. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel for more great content to come. Alright y'all, take care.